Hello everyone. I wanted to talk about a rather controversial subject about can you separate the art from the artist or the writer from the writing or whatever. Now, this is a far from black and white topic. There are many shadings of gray and there's not a clear cut answer to this, but I think common sense should dictate that just because someone is a good writer, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be a great human being. In fact, most of the writers that I like uh, were not very uh, great human beings or their personal lives at the very least were less than morally spectacular. For example, uh, Charles Dickens, who I've been reading a lot of lately, uh, had an affair. He cheated on his wife and he put his wife away uh, uh, seemingly just because she gained a few pounds and he just didn't have an interest in her anymore. Uh, so that was a very cruel thing to do. Or how about the fact that Edgar Allan Poe, who is one of my favorite writers, uh, he uh, married his 13-year-old cousin, and even at that time in the 19th century, that was considered highly controversial and illegal. But we don't read writers because we necessarily want to emulate their morality or their actions. We read writers because they're great storytellers or because we like their prose. So you don't necessarily have to approve of the moral life that a, that a writer has led in order to enjoy their stories. Now, of course, there are varying degrees of separating uh, the art from the artist or the writer from the writing or whatever. For example, I don't think you should stop reading a writer simply because you disagree with uh, a political opinion or a religious opinion. Because if you only read uh, writers who agree with you 100% on everything, then you might as well never pick up a book because that's just never going to happen. And also, you want to uh, read writers who will challenge your beliefs and assumptions about certain things. If you only read writers who agree with you, then you will never grow as a person. Now, you might end up not agreeing, agreeing with them after you've read it, but you should at least be open, open to exploring new ideas. Now, of course, if a writer has done something really bad or an artist has done something really bad like murder or rape, then I can see why it would be more difficult for people uh, to consume their work. Now, personally, uh, I wouldn't have a problem with it. Now, I would have a problem like watching an actor who has done something really horrible because I see I get, I get see their face, so it's, it's, it's more difficult. But if it's a writer or an artist and I don't have to look at their face, then I can still consume it. But I think it should be left up to the individual, ultimately, whether they, whether they can separate the art from the artist. And uh, I don't think, though, that if someone wants to consume, you know, the work of an artist, people should say, well, you can't can't uh, read that person or consume that person's art because I don't like them. I think it should be left up to the individual at the end of the day.